Years ago, I asked a guy, we were moving, and this guy and his family had moved from England. And so I said, hey, what would you do different as you moved your family from England? I was looking for input because we were moving our family to Sacramento. He said, I wish I wouldn't have worried about things the Lord had already taken care of. Okay. Wow. And he goes, I, there were things I was stressed about, but the Lord had already taken care of them. I just didn't know that. When I got there, I realized, oh, Lord, you'd already had set up a house for us. Mm. You'd already figured some stuff. He goes, I wish I wouldn't have worried about things that Lord. Already. So that struck me. And so I created uh, on my iPad, I have a list. And at the top, it just says this, things the Lord has already taken care of. Wow. So I will actually sit. So if I'm having a hard time sleeping or whatever else, I'll actually sit and I'll just say, okay, what is weighing on me? And I will put it in the... The Lord's, the Lord's already taken care of this. <laughs> wow. I'll, I'll just, I'll just start writing it down. And so I am just trying to look at, and then sometimes what will happen is if I am overwhelmed by it, I, I, I mentioned this in the sermon, anywhere where I'm feeling hopeless or discouraged, there is a lie that I'm believing. Mm -hmm. There is a lie connected to it. There's not an area of hopelessness Wow. that you have that there's not some lie connected to it. There's not an Absolutely. area of discouragement somewhere that there's not some lie connected to it. So sometimes I'll sit down and I'll say, I literally have a list and it's titled things the Lord has already taken care of. And I'll just say, all right, Lord, this is weighing on me. This is weighing on me. This is weighing on me. You already have those taken care of. Mm. These, these are taken care of. I don't know how, but they're right. taken care of. <laughs> but then I'll also take some time to actually recognize the lies that I'm believing about them. Wow. And so I'll write them down. Here's a lie I'm believing. Here's a lie I'm believing. And then I'll stop and say, what's the truth about that? Mm. So, you know, it might be a situation with my kids, maybe something going on with my kids. So I'll write it down. Lord, you've already taken care of this. Okay. What's the lie I'm believing about that? And this may be super practical, but I just go, okay, Lord, I, this is what I'm believing. Or this is the lie. I can see this is the lie. And I'll just stop. Okay, what's the truth? What does the word of God say about this? What has the Lord spoken to us over the years about this? And I'll just write down the truth. Mm -hmm. I don't necessarily believe it right off the bat. Does that make sense? It's yeah. not the exercise is important. That is so important. It's kind of that whole Psalm 121. He who keeps you does not slumber, so you can. Yeah. You know, if you remember, he he's still punched in. Yeah, totally. you can go. You can go to sleep. Yes, right. And so you're sort of as an act of casting all your cares yes, upon that, him. It's totally what it is. Writing it out. And that's really good. Yeah, it's the casting of cares. This is the way that I'm actually coming to the Lord and saying, Lord, I'm casting these cares upon you, mm -hmm. and and I'm recognizing that you said, Hey, come to me, come to yeah. me, come to me, and I'll give you rest for your soul. 